I'm going to go ahead with the meeting beginning ritual. 起立，面向佛堂，参加先鞠躬，一鞠躬，再鞠躬，三鞠躬，参加各位的传师鞠躬，开班一鞠躬，请坐下。There's one thing that I used to do、uh, frequently, but haven't done. Recently, and that is、uh, some cultural notes that people find interesting.、Uh, so I want to touch on something、uh, very quickly for everyone's attention. So, and this will also uh, uh, basically uh, be an opportunity for everyone to get to know some of the translation issues between English and Chinese. So, as much as I complain about translation issues on our side of the Pacific,、uh, it's actually a much bigger issue that affects all languages, all different cultures, all different countries. Whenever you transition from one language or one culture into another, there's always going to be stuff that's lost in translation. So, I'd like to ask you to imagine that you find yourself. You know, somewhere in Asia, and you're looking at these giant posters of movies that are playing in the in the theater, in in the cinema, and you're noticing because you have the ability to speak English natively, you're noticing the translation is、uh, maybe a little bit off. This particular section is called Modern Mandarin Culture Translation of Movie Titles. So let me show you this example. Suppose This is the poster that you see.、It、looks familiar, right? Recent movie, and being very helpful, you、uh, you can see that the people who created this particular poster have left the English title on the poster, and you will、uh, see that below the Chinese, and that's Wonder Woman. And、uh, below that is simply the date, and、uh, basically telling everyone. Uh, when it's going to premiere in that region of the world?、Uh, in this particular case,、um, the Chinese below basically says that they will be the premiere will be ahead uh, globally, uh, so people will be able to see this movie before they're able to in other regions of the world. So ignore that for now. I want to focus on the title here. So there are three major markets. Uh, in Chinese-speaking parts of the world, there's mainland China, there's Taiwan, and there's Hong Kong. Each one has different requirements. Each one will translate an English title differently. So today, the example that I'm providing is a Taiwanese translation.、Uh, they do translate this particular movie with a slightly different title that means roughly the same thing in mainland China. And the reason why things are different,、uh, you guys already know that mainland China focuses on the simplified Chinese writing system, whereas in Taiwan it's still the traditional、uh, Mandarin, traditional、uh, writing system with all the traditional characters that look more complex,、um, but in my opinion, more aesthetically appealing. So that's the difference between mainland China and Taiwan. In Hong Kong, the prevalent language is still Cantonese, even though Mandarin is the official language. So you will sometimes see titles, English movie titles, translated into Cantonese. Cantonese,、uh, being a regional dialect, has its own very unique, humorous expressions that、uh, are much more difficult to convey. In, in Mandarin. So here, let's take a look at this. The first thing that I want to share with you, as you're looking, you know, if you pretend that you are, you find yourself in in the island nation of Taiwan, and you're looking up at this big poster、uh, on the streets of Taipei, perhaps, and you're looking at this particular title. The first thing that I want to share with you is that the English is, of course, left to right. So Chinese characters, you know, each character taking that little bit of space, it can be top to bottom, and it can be left to right or right to left. 
So how do you know? Well, I think there is an overall movement toward left to right just to make it similar to English because to the Chinese speaking people, to the native Mandarin speakers, it doesn't really matter. Everybody can figure out uh, which direction the text is in. So in this particular case, it starts from the left to the right and you've got five characters there. So I want to take this opportunity to uh, to show you what the five characters are and how they translate, how they translate back into English. So what I've done is that is that I replicated the five characters as my my heading here, and now I'm going to provide the literal translation back into English. So the first character Shen that means divine or God. Second character, Li, that means power or force. Third character there, that's the character for woman or female. And you can track it over here. And then this right here, the next to last character, that's the character for super. And then the last character is the character for person. Uh, man, if you prefer, in this case it's certainly not man, but woman. So, if you were to take the last three characters together, it's basically saying, you know, superwoman, female person, <laughs> translates to superwoman. And uh, those of you who read comic books, for woman is a different character that's uh, completely unlike Wonder Woman. The first two characters, Shen Li, divine power. Uh, where does that come from? And why can they not translate Wonder Woman, uh, you know, in a more straightforward fashion? Well, there's a couple of problems with that. First of all, let me share this with you. Translations of Wonder. Uh, this is just from uh, this is from Google Translate. So, if you want to translate into Chinese, you can get under these choices, and none of them really does a very good job of conveying what we associate with Wonder Woman. So the first one, Qi Ji, that means miracle. So if you were to use, if you were to pick the first one as your Chinese translation for Wonder Woman, it becomes like Miracle Woman. So that's going to sound kind of odd. Then we have another one, the second line here, that's even more far off. Surprise, you know, wonder in, in, in terms of amazement, astonishment. Um, so. If you were to use that as your translation, you end up with the movie title like, you know, uh, A Surprised Woman, uh, which uh, an amazed woman, uh, that's not exactly what you're trying to say. Maybe, you know, something like Amazing Woman will be closer. You know, we use uh, Amazing Spider-Man and so forth, uh, but it's, uh, no, it's not going to work. The feel is really off. And then... The last one is also a variation of astonishment and amazement, surprise, etc. So for the same reason as the second choice, it's not going to work really well. Not going to work. Now, another, another issue is that we're used to characters like Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, this man, that man, this woman, that woman, etc. So we know that woman in this context is not just female, but a female character. So like a female hero, a heroine. Now, when you translate woman into Chinese, all you get is female. So imagine if you were to use Google Translate for the movie title, you end up with uh, Miracle Female, or Surprise Female, or Amazement Female all of which would sound really, really odd. So when that is the case, what do the translators do? Well, when a straight translation doesn't work in this particular culture, translators would often try other ways to capture the essence of the movie. So literally they will watch the movie, figure out the plot, understand what it's uh, trying to say, so plot elements, the type of movie, etc. Um, for what, there's a one thing that 
uh, that is done in uh, Chinese culture that is not done over here, and that is they will convey the type of movie through the title. Uh, so, as an example, if you have Wang Pai, Wang Pai means means uh, a trump card, like an ace. If you have that in the movie title, people will look at it or automatically know that it's a comedy. Why? Well, this is because this all started back in uh, Jim Carrey's movie, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. So they translated Ace to the Ace of Cards, the Trump card. So ever since that time, whenever they have some kind of movie that's a comedy, whether it stars Jim Carrey or not, they will oftentimes put Wang Pai, the Trump card in front of the title, and it serves as a spy of the kind of movie that it is. All right, so in the case of Wonder Woman, well, you know, she comes from Paradise Island, famous Hera. She's uh, the daughter of Zeus and the queen of the Amazons. So that's pretty much enough justification for the divine power part. And then what is she? Well, she's sort of like Superman, except female and therefore new tower end. So together, you get this particular title, Sunli New Tower end. So it doesn't exactly say Wonder Woman. It won't translate back to Wonder Woman if you were to do it literally, but that's what they're trying to do. So what if you had a job like that? You know, that's a sort of for you. If you had a job like that to translate some of these English movie titles, what would you do? So chances are you would try to do similar things. If you cannot translate literally, you want the movie and try to convey the essence of the movie. You would also be mindful of your target audience. Like if you translate the title in a particular way, will people understand? So here's one example. Take a look at this, San Andreas. So this was a disaster movie. This uh, massive, unprecedented earthquake uh, along the San Andreas Fault, uh, starring, of course, Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So you probably remember this movie. I think it's from a couple years ago. So a lot of special effects, building collapsing, etc. Now, this movie comes to, comes to you in Taiwan, and you have the job of translating the title. What are you going to do? Well... One big problem right off the bat is that people are not familiar with the reference San Andreas. So if you were to, to translate San Andreas literally, uh, people will be at a loss as to what the movie is all about. So you would take a step back, figure out what the movie is about, and then use that as the new title. So here's, here's what it turns out to be. And what is, it, what is it saying? Okay, well, again, it's left to right. It's Jiazhou Da Di Zhen. The first two characters there, these two characters, Jiazhou, that means California. So people don't know people in, on the other side of the Pacific. They may not know much about the San Andreas Fault, but everybody knows California. And then Da, that's big. And then Di Zhen, that's earthquake. So literally, if you translate it back into, into English, that's California big earthquake, or perhaps, you know, great earthquake. So that's what that is. And to be helpful, they put the English title right up here so people know. And once again, at the bottom here, uh, they are forecasting, they are basically telling you when the movie is going to premiere. Now. Uh, this requires a little bit of explanation as well. This will help you understand. Uh, they want to they want to translate what is in the original English poster, and uh, on top of on top of San Andreas, you have the the top building of Dwayne Johnson. So this right here is actually the Chinese translation of the of the name, but it's not exactly Dwayne Johnson. So. What's going on is that you've got two characters here to start with. The first character means giant. The second character means rock. 
So, 巨石 giant rock. Why? Well, because it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. That's his、uh, wrestling name, and he's a he's a big guy, so giant. So there you go. That's sort of the, the nickname in Chinese. And then Changsen. This is the phonetic Chinese rendition of the surname Johnson. So there you go. Giant Rock Johnson. That's Dwayne Johnson. Oh yeah. So I hope you find that interesting.、Um, I think we have time for one more, and then we got to move on to talk about serious business. So let's do this one. Here is a movie that I'm sure everyone knows, or perhaps have seen.、Uh, in my case, have seen multiple times. So, what if this comes to Taiwan? What would they call it? What's it?、Uh, what, what will it be translated to? And can you translate it as Matrix? Well, if it was me, I would just do a translation of Matrix and make it straightforward. However,、uh, remember, your job is to convey something about the movie to the audience to attract people,、uh, so that they would actually want to show up at the cinema and watch the movie. Uh, pay for the ticket, watch the movie, etc. So here's what the Chinese turned out to be. Here we go. So as usual, the original English name is there, and then we have Haiker Renwu. What is that? Well, that's not Matrix. It would not translate back into English as anything close to Matrix. What is it? First two characters, Haiker, means hacker. This is a Creative and artistic, and commonly accepted translation of the English term hacker. The first,、uh, so you know, if you want it to be literal, it's like you know, a scary guest, which、uh, a hacker is, because the hacker is an intruder into your system. So, hacker is hacker, and then the last two characters there, Renwu, that's mission. So the Chinese title actually turns out to be Hacker Mission. <laughs> That's what the Matrix has morphed into when it makes the transition to the other side of the Pacific. Let's go ahead and do the meeting ending ritual. 起立，面向佛堂，持架三鞠躬，一鞠躬，再鞠躬，三鞠躬，持架多一点传十一鞠躬。接班一鞠躬。We are done, everybody. Thank you so much.